Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go over the 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz Wi-Fi on your PlayStation 5 and see which one is better at certain ranges. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So I have my PlayStation 5 here on my desk and my router is literally right under it, maybe a foot or two away from it. And I'm going to go ahead and run a quick speed test and just see which one is quicker, the 5 gigahertz or the 2 gigahertz. And then I'm going to go over to my TV, which is maybe like 50, 60 feet away, and just run the same test and see if there is a drop in signal. All right, so let's go up to settings and select this and then go on down to network. Then go to settings and set up an internet connection. And let's connect to my 2.4, which is Mr. Beast back out of this. And then go to connection status and just view my connection status real quick. Under here I can see my Wi-Fi is 2.4 gigahertz and my signal strength is 100%. Now let's back out and do a quick test internet connection right here and start the test. So I can see my download speed is at 106 and my upload speed is at 15 at a range of 1 foot. And signal strength 100%. Now let's go to my 5 gigahertz. And set up that internet connection real quick. Go to Miss Beast. And my signal strength is once again at 100%. And I'm connected to the 5 gigahertz. Alright, so my download speed for the 5 gigahertz is 350. And my upload is 13.8. So my upload pretty much didn't really change all that much. It went down a little bit. And my connection speed for download went up like 200. So it's significant difference close up here at about a one foot range from my router. All right, so there is my router there on the bottom and I'm gonna move it all the way over to my front TV, which is a little bit further away. I'd say about 50 to 60 feet. So there's my PlayStation. Let's go ahead and fire up and do the test again. Okay, so under setup internet connection, let's connect to my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi once again and then rerun the test so let's see what my signal strength is right here. So let's go to view connection status. And for the 2.4 gigahertz, I am at 100% signal strength still. All right, so my download speed is at 104 and my upload speed is at 14. I really didn't see a change even though we are much further away from the router. So I think I was at 106 for my download speed. So that's pretty impressive. Now let's go ahead and switch over to the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and just see if there is a change there. So let's connect to Miss Beast right now. So my signal strength is also at 100% and I'm connected to the 5 gigahertz. Let's rerun the test. All right, so my download speed is at 378, so it actually went up for some reason. And then my upload speed is at 13.6, so that's about the same. But the connection was 100% signal strength. So from the two tests I ran, I really didn't see a huge difference even though my router is way over there and I'm like 60 feet away. But I was at 100% signal strength on the 2.4 gigahertz and also the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Now in the past I ran this test before on like my Nintendo Switch and I was able to get much further ranges with 100% signal strength on my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And as a result, I was able to get a faster download speed consistently. So you may want to think about that if you have a lot of walls or floors that you're going through. The 2.4 gigahertz will probably get you better results. So if you're further away, I would suggest the 2.4 gigahertz. Or if you're a little bit closer, go ahead and try the 5 gigahertz and just see which one is better for you. So I would suggest connecting to the one with 100% signal strength because you're probably going to get less rubber banding, ping issues, latency, etc. So go ahead and just try that out. Further away for the 2.4 gigahertz, closer ranges, go ahead and try connecting to the 5 gigahertz and look at your signal strength and just make sure you're at 100%. And if you're not, try to get it to 100% by moving your router closer or your PlayStation 5 closer or maybe buying a Wi-Fi signal booster and connecting that to like a wall outlet. And some of those are really cool and they can actually get you much further ranges than you're probably anticipating. 
without spending too much money. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more checkout videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.